1v forward, which can put a team in a really bad position. It can make you kind of have internal issues. So hopefully for them, they've been able to reset overnight. They can come back into this strong, but they still have to find that way forward. They're still working their way out of quarry in the southern side of the circle. There is a decent run ahead of them. There isn't too many teams nearby, but there is one close enough. Yeah, that's the problem. 69 is on the same transition path here. I can see players, they might get an eye line on this should they hit the roadside. Athena might potentially get lucky here. If 69 were on onwards without checking the backside, if they, they watch the this, jump, right? they could completely get the jump. They are in a 2-2 split, so they won't confirm all members down. There could be a, a scenario there where you, okay, you press the advantage and all of a sudden the two players that are disconnected from the rest of the roster just bite you in the backside. So they have to be careful. They don't overextend themselves. But they are on a, a parallel kind of mirror image transition. We are looking at the moment with purple mood. There is a team Nova also in the same scenario same area purple mood will be up against the hillside up against the cliffs so the only one way they can really go is forward and unfortunately forward will be the gauntlet as all and over is just spread across that hillside We'll see if they actually get that full engagement happening anytime soon. You can see on the map it is condensing now. Everyone slightly to the northwest of Paradise Resort. Still 16 teams stand, 60 players still up. So we have had those initial casualties and the new circle comes in. But it looks like there might have been a spot. Did Mohawk just get an idea that maybe someone's behind them? I don't know if they've heard something, spotted something, but they, they held the up for a second. They definitely held up for a second. So they might be preparing for this. RRQ Athena might be walking into a trap here, Rich. I saw Ernie just hit the deck and you can see the rest of the players are also doing the same which it's either preemptive or suggestive that they know players are lingering in the distance they're now all looking the way you can see if you look towards your top right all the arrows are focused and fixated downhill but the same goes for 69 so maybe just maybe by the skin of both of these teams teeth they've avoided danger both of them outside the circle the longest distance to go it did shift up to the north so any players happy, you'd have to suggest by your screen, maybe Buffalo has some info. PLM still in the water, just trying to transition this one. Stay a little bit safe for now, but it looks like Nova do have them red. We mentioned for PLM there was only one way to go, and they have opened up. And Nova have been putting bodies on the board. These guys, yes, they haven't had the biggest results. They're kind of sitting middle pack at the moment. But if they get a couple more of those kills, you can see what happens when they do go off. So I'm wondering if they've got this position, they can maybe isolate some players. But here we're going to see Unique. Again, a bit of a ball in a china shop at times. We saw them playing towards Shelter on Erringel. And they were hunting down teams that were looking for any way they could pick something up. But... They're not going to have an easy route here. There is still one man spotting them out. So keeping track on their location, their movement. But Nova's on the play here. Pushing this one for now down the hillside. AY and JN not in the safest positions. They're very in an open field. Maybe now we now gets that info, feeds it back. Oh, Secret here comes mating. the utility. This is where it gets scary. First knock in his go time. AY going to make the push, but Zooms is there and he holds it back. Nice work from Zooms, but Trey instantly comes in. Excellent work from Nova to make sure there's always a trade available, not allow their players to fall without an answer. And where is the rest of the team against them? It looks like Nova have stamped their authority on this area. They'll control the north, but I see a third party moving in. They may not be alone for long. Picked up the points, but Jasper will be over by Cal. He's safe. He's the emergency plan. <laughs> he's, just, he's just the backup plan, right? Now, you might what see in the distance, really Rich. ELG, they're coming over. And ELG's performance so far has been something to really take a look at. Currently in fourth elite gaming, looking very nice. Good placement position throughout this. Couple of kills to boot. Certainly no slouches, but not quite up where, there with the top three. But this game could really springboard them forward. But it looks like Bandit's got an idea. He was scouting. He was keeping track of who was close by. So these guys, they're taking their time. They're being smart. They're cautious. They're getting the information. It's good suppressive fire. Well, that single hillside scout, it's forced them back. The utility's there. Bandit does the job. Broncho will sit forward, front and centre, ready to receive, should they make an advancement on this one. So it's good preemptive play from both teams. No contact made from either side, and I think ELG just disconnect from this. They can wait out if they really want to again. Nova's in a position where they don't have to move. They are circle. They are not quite, but nearly central circle, so the next one should be favorable to them. Everyone else still has the work. But for ELG, you know, if they can remove Nova from that position, they have that entire quadrant of the island. They can just sit and chill. 
Oh, well, look at this bridge situation, though. SSG, they lost out on a sixless in carnage earlier on to a ARG, who are on the other side. So this, this is far from fun. They're locked into this bridge. I don't think they can move too easily off of this one. Juicy, I think, unable to heal beyond that. Maybe lacking some utility, some of those stims, some of those boosts, maybe just kind of unable to get the full loot they wanted after suffering that casualty to start with. I wonder if Plant knows. I wonder if either team knows, it's just a stalemate, standstill. Circle, meanwhile, does fixate. Goes central, ELG, Nova. Quite a few teams around Tap Mog, they're all going to be happy for now. Anyone coming out of Paradise or Looting Paradise will be all extremely happy. They'll have got geared up to the nines. Meanwhile, SSG again, still ARG laying down the hammer here, Lauren. That was earlier. That's the little reminder of why they're in that situation on the bridge. That's a little look back. This is uh, Top Esports as well. That was their engagement. And this was that great compound breach coming in. So we were already seeing those moves coming through. And there's so many players being put through their paces early on. No one afraid to take a fight. But just to remind you, we still have 16 teams alive. All the teams still stand. But there has been losses. And look at this vision coming in wow. from... Uh, Long Jin here, that is a really nice bit of information. Do you want to engage? Probably not, maybe not yet. Get the rest of your team in good position and maybe work it out from there on. Well, they hold a hillside, so there's no real reason to make your presence known just yet. If you can defend this, as others will be transitioning rather soon. We still have 69 who have to make an entry point on the server. Oh, we've got a new team coming here, though. Uh -oh. It's going to give away the game right. So Team Queso tries to make the cross. Big deny. Juicy goes down. That's heartbreaking. The NA side has been suffering so badly from this. But Team Queso, that is a big, big pickup here. And SSG are going to be down to one man. If Angry can't survive, that'll be it. This does several things now. This alerts ARG that there is a team lingering on the opposing side of the bridge. And it also falls his angry's hand. He's just jumped off. He's in the water. There's nothing else really that SSG can do apart from chill, play the basement. The punch as well. Extermination job done. Oh, wait. So someone has an eye light on. Because you'd have to assume that that's ARG, right? Just off to the side of the bridge because planet's there. Maybe he can be feeding this information back should he have any. The smokes are up, so it's going to be limited regardless. Purple Mood still chilling for now. Unique also on transition here, just playing edge of the circle, sweeping and clearing. If they do come through Cal, they will be met with resistance. There are two teams there, SZB just on the cliff face. Also, you do have Fuzi and Co. Team 16 just up in the top corner. There's quite a lot of teams that are compressing and condensing on this hillside, this cliff side just to the left. This circle with how many players alive, this could get real messy real quick. Good luck, good luck to the observers in the back, catching all these fights, because this is a powder keg scenario. You like this fuse, and away we go. All these teams trying to play for that positioning, trying to play smart, trying to play cerebral PUBG Mobile here, just to make sure they don't lose out early, but already seeing the likes of Space Station Gaming down to just angry. You have uh, Purple Mood looting, losing out on two, so this is where it is going to all kick off. It's QF Powerboy here, one of the outstanding players so far, keeping track of... Just one up in the distance, does get the tag, doesn't overly commit though, but it's more warning shots, just keeping themselves certainly in the game, and top esports kind of split up here, pretty far apart from each other. For the double AR setup, M4, M16, M16 tap 5 for range, and the M4 just to pull out and go full defensive. Even with a four times, some of these players, their up close and personal sprays are just disgusting. Groza. 69 have finally made contact, and that was just to the south. Circle has again been unfavorable. They just have to keep moving time and time again. GCB, though, they can hold back. They are on the edge. They could just play border patrol here, open fire onto 69, either pin them in the blue or murder them on arrival. For this side, they've been keeping track on these players for some time, so they've been calculating their moves in the next couple of moments now. They do look like they want to fall away a little bit, maybe readjust positioning. Groza there. Good tags as well, so they're not going down without a fight, but there you go. Justice getting caught out. Does mean this should be go time. RRQ, Athena in the kill feed as well, finding a couple of the Purple Mood players, if I'm not mistaken, so this could be bad news for them. ELG trying to get in on the battle as well. That could be a third party coming through. Viper's gone down, so we're seeing RRQ 
Q, Athena really coming to the battle. And there is Purple Mood gone first. Team to four, they were down to just two players here. But then suddenly, RRQ Athena came on the scene. But it's not going to be without an answer. There is other players nearby. Another team will sweep through Cow as well. Unique's on the approach, and so is Soul. And honestly, Tadmok's about to just explode. ELG know exactly where Athena is. The grenades have been damaging, but certainly not deadly. Still plenty of members up. They can hold them here. Hold the line. Hold them back. They need to be careful. They could be crunched. Unique's on That's the approach. 69's here. Soul's here. It looks like GCB will miss the fight from 69. They've disconnected. They run to the blue, and they've re- assess their entry point but Saul is waiting for them they need to be careful this is going to be messy we've got five teams all on this eastern embankment exactly and you've got to look at the way this plays out ELG so Elite Gaming are kind of a little bit further in so they don't have to be too worried they can play gatekeeper here they can hold everyone else back Soul via Viper laying coiled in the grass waiting this one out we are seeing G9 then just got picked up that's that could be a huge if, issue if, if they're not careful they could lose out on a lot of players but now they've spotted out the issue they've spotted out where these players are coming from this is ELG though they were further in here they're still safe they're keeping back RRQ Athena here pushing them back in the line and here's those kills coming in. That's the LG racking up some bodies. Two kills already. Can they confirm them though? Plenty of teams will want to get that steal, get that takeaway. And oh, Viper's been caught in the back. Run, Viper, run. You're in danger. Hits the prone and he gets knocked. You can't get away from the LG like that. Confirmations there. RRQ, they said, you know what? It's time to go while they're making it an aggressive stance for the people in the blue. We need to move up and move up exactly what they do. They need to be careful that left-hand side, it's exposed. There is one player in the form of Ming who is holding that angle. Look at him, just waiting behind the planks, bottom corner. He's the one to stop anything that RRQ want to do from the left-hand side. Senior and Ernie, they don't know what they're running into. This is an open trap, Lauren. And this is fourth against third. This is a big battle for ELG. If they win this one out, they're in a great position. But there are no slouches on this side. Space Station do go down. That's the NA Hope eliminated in this one. Leaders got to be careful. They are knocking at that door. They're so close by. That knock's giving them information. And they're just playing it so carefully, so cautiously. Ernie, he's your danger man. His kills were so, so strong, but he gets tagged up. Ernie's in danger. Oh no, ELG are hunting them down, and this does not look good for RRQ Athena. Down to just one standing at the moment, and this could be the end of them. D2E better go big or it's going home. They'll be going out in such an early position. That would be a huge, huge upset here. Team Queso goes down in the meantime, but ELG might just be able to leap a spot here if they do manage to take out RRQ Athena, and that would be a huge upset. Circle 5 is just punishing. As you mentioned, only one more player holding on there for RRQ. Anytime soon, I'd see that one player to go down and Athena to go out in 12th position. The circle, though, is going to cause havoc for all of those teams that are fighting in that location. It's pulled away. It's hard shift. It's moved more towards the south on the eastern side. Yes, GCB and Seoul, they're safe, but everyone else in the north, they all have to run. There's like, what, six teams there that all have to make an advancement? Meanwhile, down in the south... It's going to kick off as well. Nova still eyes on the prize towards ARG. They've been there for a while and watching this one. This hillside has been there. Execute on a there now. Bridge. Need to do something because everyone's just moving from the blue. This is easy pickings for everyone who's just sat inside the circle. There isn't that many. There's maybe four teams out of 12. And here comes the run. They're all trying to make it across the road. ELG disengaging. And it is an open space. And look who's waiting on the other side. Bigatron waiting, laying in wait. Is there a clear path to cross through? Or will they die on that transition? Candice goes down. I'm seeing Old Boy doing work as well. Years onto Jimmy. He's gone. Oh, Skr. Paraboy does find him in the kill feed. That's where the M4 C nap. Bandit bleeds out. Job done. He's dead. Xiao Hai also... I've seen Playzone just murdering people who just left out there, just knocked for no re by individual players. Nova's gone. And instantly we lose three teams back to back to back. People just spraying down through the killing fields, finding the bodies, leaving the corpses to the blue. This is just murder. This is crazy. There's so much action going on here. It's so hard to keep up with everything. Paraboy going down, though. This is RRQ Athena eliminated. That's They held on as long as they could, but they've gone down pretty early for a team of their caliber, in my opinion. I want to see more. XQF trying to hold on, but they're down to limited numbers here. They've suffered casualties as well. Some of the biggest names are now down to one player. That's just Coolboy left standing. He's the only hope for his team now. 
think he's just gone down in the kill feed. So make sure you watch that top mid area. Yep, X Quest. There it so is. These teams at the top, Lauren, they are falling like flies. And this is the perfect moment for ELG. If they have a big game here, if they can make it through to the final couple of teams, that could be huge for them. That could boost them way up on the board. Same can be said, though, for Bigatron Esports. They're within reach. They were down at seventh at the start of the day, so they could really boost themselves up here. And both of these teams keeping a lot of numbers alive. ELG, I think, do have a knocked player right now. Yes, it's a leader. So they need to get him back on his feet. But Ming catches a glimpse of one, takes him down, I'm pretty sure. That should be a kill coming through. And now ELG needs to move. But there's Zuxi in the way. And this could be Bigatron holding them back. They're just stuck in the blue here. This is huge from Zuxi. Big Nate comes out. They fall away. Bigatron Esports playing this really well. And Ming is in yeah. danger. Down he goes. Ring goes off. Blue finishes him. Job done. Rest of them need to move. ELG, Ming bleeding out by the wayside. Broncho also forced into the engagement anytime soon. Years and White Cat, the last two members holding on for TES. Now, this is important for them. They don't have many teams by them. And they're second on the leaderboard. With all the boys at the top falling, this is a good chance to back some points and jump themselves into first place. This could be huge, and this could be a real makeup for some of the slight, you know, misfortune that's happened to them. They got 2v4 in that situation. So, again, there's ELG being called out. Bronco goes down, and we're down to just two teams. Five players stand, and look at this situation. Years and White Cat facing off against Justice Rose. And Dongjin, now Justice has been an incredible player for his side, so he could be a huge factor in this. White Cat and Years need a big performance now. But where's Years' health? Is he completely out of meds? Oh no, that could be a big loss. They try and get the tag on the first. No, the trades there. Big play from Rose. Holding on that slightly further outside. And Justice is making the push. And it's a G. G. CQB. Fantastic work from them. This should get them some good needed points.